welcome back you guys besides the fact that we're going to Costco yet again it is Friday we are trying to find parts for our air conditioning units you guys let me tell you about the heat I told you about the heat in one of the last videos and you guys are just barely commenting on it and telling me how hot it is in your areas I don't remember what the last one was but um we started out with our hottest day it was supposed to be 102 it has been upgraded almost hourly it increases by a temperature I'm not even kidding you I look one hour and it's 104 and then the next hour it's 106 it is now up to 112 on Monday coming up 108 on Sunday so that'll be fabulous for church without AC um, that's time for zoom I know but like I just convinced the kids like we're going back to church now I'm like I don't know maybe uh, we will just do it on zoom hell has hell frozen has. over so <laughs> Time to, uh, anyway, we have been going to Lowe's and Home Depot, and we're just trying to find an extender piece for our air conditioning units. They work, and they work really, really good, but we're just trying to get them out of the rooms that they're in and further out into the living spaces where we actually are. Because I'm, should show video I'll show it to you when we get home. I just, like in our bedroom, I have to put the AC unit in my doorway. That's as far as I can get it and facing it out into the playroom. You guys can maybe picture that. I'll show it to you when I get home. Um, and it's doing a good job of like keeping the upstairs cool, but it doesn't it doesn't really reach into the girls' bedrooms. So like Chelsea and Ashley's room doesn't need to be cool during the day because they're not in there. But Kaylee and Abby tend to be in there quite often, and they get just super hot in there. So if I can extend that unit into the room more I can face fans toward their rooms better and then downstairs in my room in my office again it just has to sit not even in the doorway it's right inside the doorway and so it just doesn't reach out into the living spaces as much I kind of like it because it gives me a little bit of that cold air in my office not gonna lie well we don't have to take it out of there as much as we do upstairs right up, to be but upstairs efficient. yeah but also Anyway, so that's what we've been doing, and no, no one has the part in store, and on Amazon it can't get to us until Monday, and I know if I set the delivery for Monday, Sunday is the earliest one, it'll just be like, the delivery won't be there until like the 9 p.m. late drop-off. We can find is, conduit somewhere in town. We live in freaking Seattle. I know, so we're just on the hunt, but we're going to go to Costco first, and then come up with a new plan to try and track down one of these extender pieces. It's like 20 bucks. And Lowe's has it on their website, but the earliest delivery is July 1st, which is a no-go. It's pointless. We're hot. We're going to go to Costco. Do you want a cold drink? Oh, and shoot. that's not a Coke. That's just an actual, like, fruit smoothie or something. Because it's coming up on 80s. Anyway, it's not, like, hot, hot. I understand that, but I just don't like to be hot and bothered. Seven. All right, so Costco is just too hot, and anyway, I didn't really film in there except for checking out, and then we ran into our favorite worker. <laughs> she just is so fun to talk to. Um, anyway, we will show you what the AC things look like. We're gonna research, trying to find that part when we get home. And then I'm taking Kaylee to the lake with her friends. And we need to go check on the that spill in my car. Babe. I don't know. There's a cup holder right there. Uh, I don't know. I said you didn't spill it out of my lake. Oh, good. You got any tissue? No, because you don't keep tissue in your car. But don't worry, guys. Should we show how your nasty prepared. your car is with all your tissues? We can go look at my car. My car is beautiful. You cleaned it yesterday no, then. No, I didn't. Dude, I don't. No. no, the back seat is filled no, with tissues. You just toss into the back seat. No. You're lying. I'm not lying. Go to the park and check on the kids. We need to make sure that they have enough water and maybe even come home for lunch. So, we didn't get anything in like super special at Costco today. I had a whole list going and I was using the Costco rebate magazine and I was like, oh, we can get this and that and that. And then I was telling my sister that diapers were on rebate and she, in her area, like they've been like limited supply. 
but she doesn't have a Costco, so I was gonna have my twin sister pick her up some diapers and take Did them up to her. Did supply? Yeah, she took the very last pack of diapers from Walmart one day when I, when I was down there. It's odd. Anyway, so I was talking to her about it. baby boom? I don't know. There's No, they're actually like, there was a COVID baby boom, but there's actually less, anyway. We, we digress. I know, the birth rate went down. The birth rate went down. But I realized I was shopping out of the Costco Business Center magazine. I was so mad. I was like, are you for real? I don't, I... Chelsea! We're so I'm going to give the same magazine to Jason and have him shop out of it after work one of these of course, days. Now you me. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were blowing your nose. Yeah. So about cool. half of the stuff I was going to get at Costco today is from the business center rebates. So, didn't get a whole lot today. Okay, we're gonna divide and conquer. I am gonna go down and get the ven venting pipe conduit that we need. Woo, it's hot. Turn on my AC here. And uh, Dana's gonna take, I think, the kids to the, the lake. So anyways, um, I'll show you what I'm gonna get. All right, I might not have mentioned this earlier, but the reason we are, I had to drive all the way down to Ace Hardware in Burien is because we couldn't find anywhere else that had the duct we need to get it quick enough. So they said online they have it here. So I sure hope they do. <laughs> So this is where they say the piping is. They said they had it, but there's two empty bins. I'm gonna go see if I can get someone to help me with this. Hopefully they have it. So their website was totally wrong. They don't actually have it. So now I have to find another place to get it. So don't trust the Ace Hardware website. It doesn't have it. Okay, plan double E. Uh, there's a Lowe's here, then there's gonna be Albert Lee's up the street. Let's just hope we can find this hose. Okay, so a guy told me here, one that works here, that there is a place called Reliable Parts. So now I'm going there. <laughs> so that's where I'm headed. Well, no one has it, so screw it. Guess I spent my afternoon running around. What else was I gonna do? So anyways, that was my day. Well, we're back home after a completely fruitless adventure for uh, the hose we need. But um, anyways, we'll see what everybody else is up to. All right, I don't know. I don't feel like we did much today. It's already like 8.30. I don't know, we're off. But Jason and I are having, we're making a few pieces of cod. We got them from Costco today. I didn't want to turn the oven on, but I wanted that cod. So, Abby, you can sneak in. Um, uh, Chelsea might eat that. Yeah. It doesn't last much longer. Can we throw that away? Anyway. I don't know that I ever showed you guys these flowers. A friend of mine brought flowers over the other day. Look how pretty the hydrangeas have kind of wilted a little bit. Actually, everything is kind of wilted. But look how big this is, look. I don't know if this is like from her garden or if she just got a bunch and then arranged it. I mean, it's so cute because there's like a little jar down there. Look how big and fluffy these were. This is how how big they all were. Like each one of these. See, this one's kind of wilted. But that was super sweet of her to bring drop that off for me. Hey, Ash, hang on. The, the garage door is having a hard time. Yeah, just like there. It doesn't go there. Yeah, but I just wore it, so it's just okay, okay, it is clean for next time. Anyway, she sent these over, and they were really pretty. Um, she was going to come to book club, and then we ended up canceling book club. So, it's kind of a wash of a night that night. Everyone just got busy and they were traveling the next day and a lot of people were just starting summer and that's totally fine. Um, but I also wanted to give a little thank you. 
someone special from here. Um, one to everyone who has offered their um, condolences and thoughts and everything along the way about my mom. I don't have a really quiet place to go and talk. Maybe I'll try and see if the light outside will help me. Kaylee's in there now making her dinner. She spent the day at the lake. Um, anyway, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh, first of all, 4th of July decoration video. I think it's going to go up before this one. So if you didn't watch that one, you can check out my 4th of July decor. See the cute lights back there? Super cute. Um, I just kind of like suddenly was like, hey, we need to put 4th of July stuff out. So we did it. So just thank you for everyone who has commented either on like the videos here on YouTube. Some of you I am friends with on my um, public Instagram account and you can send me messages on that one. It's just Dana Creates on Instagram. You can go and follow me over there. But thank you for all your comments and thoughts. Um, but one of you sent me a card today and I just wanted to, you know who you are and I just wanted to tell you like, I want you to see that I'm very grateful for that. Like it means a lot to me, those simple things. And if you have lost someone close to you, you understand that and you are able to reciprocate what you know you needed. Um, and I, I hope I can do that now going forward. Um, I, a friend of mine um, just lost her father and we go to church with her entire family. And so I know exactly what she's going through right now. And I reached out to her multiple times because I just know what that means. I know that there's simple things like my pinwheels like can you see them lining my sidewalk if you know the pinwheels you know that that was such a simple thing for someone to do literally cost one two three four dollars from the dollar store but that secret dropping off of pinwheels was literally like them knowing what I needed you know what I mean a simple card is a simple card unless there's meaning behind it unless there's thought and love behind it so it doesn't take much to send your condolences to have it have a lasting effect so I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate that and I um, thank you for that um, on that note I'm going to sign off because I want my makeup to come off the next um, three days here torturous weather like unheard of unheard of for seattle for washington like unheard of it's going to be 100 degrees tomorrow 106 on sunday and 112 on monday and those numbers oh, there's a bunny outside those numbers are going to keep going up i'm going to end try and show you the bunny right outside my door we get them often but this one is just staring me down on the front sidewalk can you see him right there? Just a little hop hop. All the time. Oh, he ate a little flower. Come and eat my weeds, bunny. I'm coming. Why don't you eat the weeds? Anyway, look how big he is. That's just a wild bunny. Look how big he is. They're all over the place. Super cute. All right, you guys, take care.